get paid a lot of money to do and, and get wrong a lot. So I wouldn't presume to say this guy's a better pro, that guy's a better pro. I have no idea. I mean, I think that you can say what they've done in college. You can say how some of the intangibles might translate. But you're talking about guys from very different offensive systems, and so much depends in the NFL on, on who takes them, who's around them, how they're coached. And, and how comfortable they are running the offense. I'll say this though, if you watch Winston and Mariota throw the ball, there's no doubt they're extremely talented and that kind of arm talent will translate to the next level. They're also extremely smart cerebral quarterbacks who process information quickly, which is obviously important at the next level. So, I mean, there's a reason why they're considered high, high, high picks because they have the things you look for. Now, how that translates, what team they go to, what system, a lot of it is, just, is pretty random. Which one do you think is more pro style ready? Well, I mean, Jameis comes from a more pro style system than Marcus does. That's obvious. I mean, that's that's a selling point for Florida State. When you go out and try to recruit quarterbacks, you say we have a, a system where you're under center a lot and we're, you're going to get ready for the NFL. It's interesting to see how perhaps an increasing number of top high school recruits may look to systems where they are under center occasionally, where they can drop back, where they can show that cred as a, as a future Sunday quarterback. I mean, it's a, it's a very different looking system at Ohio State, at Oregon, some other places that, that win a whole lot on Saturdays, and it's enormously successful offense in college football. Whether or not that influences recruits to, to look away from that program to a program where they're going to be more classically trained for the NFL, well, we'll have to wait and see. The schools that run those systems certainly think so and hope so, whether that's Florida State or Alabama or USC or programs that sort of sell that pro-style offense. Should NFL teams be worried about all the off-the-field stuff with Jameis? I don't know. I mean, I think that they'll, they'll do their due diligence. They'll interview him. They'll be very impressed, I think, with, with his on-field play. And I, I think that, you know, maybe some people might have some reservations. I'm sure others won't have any reservations. That's the thing about the draft. You, you can have 29 teams have reservations, and one love you. I mean, it only takes one to draft you. But I, I think that you know, he'll, he'll do as good a job as he can of, of getting in front of people and having to, to sell his maturity and, and sell his growth and make them feel comfortable that he can be a stable face of the franchise, which they'll want to hear from him if they're going to uh, draft him highly and, and pay him that kind of money. And the fact that Marcus has come from this spread system, should that be a concern? You, what you've seen are his intangibles and his skill set uh, good enough that he can still play in this pro-style system if that's the system where he may be playing? Yeah, again, I'm not, a, I'm not an evaluator of talent for the NFL, so I have no idea. And a lot of these questions are unanswerable. There, there are so many busts because these questions are hard to answer. Now, he's got the ability to throw the ball with incredible accuracy. I've never seen a more accurate quarterback in college. That's going to translate to whatever kind of football you're playing. I think that you know the ironic thing is that some NFL teams, not a lot of them maybe, but some NFL teams want to see a more dynamic, outgoing, classical leader. And, and the Oregon people will tell you that behind the scenes, Mariota leads exactly the way he needs to. He's not afraid to get in the guy's face. He can be a tough leader. He doesn't make a big show of it. But I think there's concern. If you if you were drafting a guy first or second in the NFL, you sort of historically want that alpha dog who's going to be a, a, a loud leader, a magnetic personality. Marcus is magnetic in, in a quieter way, a more behind-the-scenes way. But I think that there are probably, whether it's right or wrong, some teams that have that reservation, and he'll have to quickly dispel that when he gets in those one-on-one -on -one interviews, and I'm sure he can. What is it about the Rose Bowl?